Hi guys, this video is going to be called Insta360 1X2 Why does my clone effect trail not work? Well, here is the thing I got this device for about two months right now and I'm still not able to do the trail effect Till this day, very hard Every time I pop up the video and I use the app on the phone it doesn't do anything, it's like not even one second playing, it's just not playing nothing there's no sort of uh, message that will tell you what you did wrong because I'm sure I did something wrong or whatsoever I went online and I read a lot of these complaints on the forums about people that got the same issue as me there's just no video, nothing is happening you record exactly as they say, is what you think, I'll tell you that in a minute and then you do whatever they tell you and it doesn't happen now a couple of days ago I had this theory in my mind that I must be doing something wrong and I started thinking about the trail what it does so the AI within the cam is going to search for you like you know like when you long press on a person and it follows you now that AI has to have like some sort of they need to see that you are different than the background whatever else just like now you see gray there's white in the background if I'm correct and maybe it's hard for the AI to catch you if you do a lot of stuff and if you're in the same color I don't know but my theory was that let me try it out walking in a straight line jumping in a straight line running in a straight do whatever you do in a straight line because they got these videos that I will show you in a minute and they tell you whatever you need to do exactly but I think it's people like me that didn't do it exactly and that's the issue with not having the effect come up and my issue was that I did not walk in a straight line so let's start from zero I will show you all of the steps that you need to do to get a successful trail effect video and then take it from there let's go something very important make sure you connect the device to the phone before you start so let's go now you do see that we got a connection at this moment and we can even start you know capturing this uh, through the phone app whatever you know let's just walk out here and this is about enough of a you know of distance I think let me try the correct settings which is 5.7k 30 frames per second let me pull up my pants and let's start or no so what we're doing right now is press the video button and I think it's recording already so let's go we are walking and press stop now you need to go to the app going back and now we're gonna choose the clone trail and press use this team and I'm gonna choose the video that I just made and now I have to long press on a moving human target to start tracking which would look like I'm gonna zoom it in first so I zoomed in long press it's starting to track if tracking stops within three seconds it cannot be saved as a valid clip so that might be an issue you have but if you did it exactly this way it's gonna work out now it's gonna ask you how do you want to have the clone trail so let's press high and you press generate clone trail so now it's gonna take a little longer than uh, I don't know what it does in the first moments but this is the time of the waiting but hopefully you'll have a good video at the end so let's wait meanwhile looking at the beautiful landscape oh yeah almost done there you go and this, but I will show you this and the video app so let's go to that part and if you want to export this go to the button here you press export you say direct export there you go and that way it will be saved to your device pretty quickly though boom so now you can go to your gallery and you got your video clip let's make another one now this time I'm gonna record another video but I'm gonna leave the GoPro in here now just so you guys have an idea I put the GoPro behind the Insta and now we're gonna record we got the app on so let's go press record and just start walking whatever when the camera is on let's do another one this was not the best one but 
here we go. And now we're gonna go back into the app. Now once you're back into the app, you're gonna go again to Clone Trail, use the Steam. Now you're gonna choose your clip, confirm. Now you gotta choose the, the moving target. Give it some time. Where's my target? I'm there. I'm gonna long press it. It's gonna start tracking myself now. Boom, I jumped. Whoa, that was almost like a Jordan, man. I'm not even wearing my Jordans today. Nike Air Jordan in the house, man. What up? This is me explaining whatever to the GoPro. And now, I'm gonna put it on moderate. I gotta wait for this one, and it's 12.55. Let's see how long it takes. 12.55, so let's make it 12.56, because we don't know whatever seconds we are at. My best guess looking at this, 30% already is that this is gonna be done within one minute. So let's give it one minute, you know, to make it like like an honest thing, you know? It's like one minute for uh, generating the preview. I don't like the music, so let me just close it. There we go. Gonna export it. So pressing here, exporting. I'm gonna say, I will tell it to direct export. Gonna export right now. Now I'm going to the gallery. Now that we are in the gallery, I will show you the result. And that's how you do it, my friends. And this is the way you record a successful clone trail effect video. So, hope it helped you. If you had the same issues as me, hope this video makes it work for you. And you know what it is, I'm not asking for anything. Just having fun. Keep it real. Peace out.